Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatterer will speak about the officer-involved shooting that killed a suspected robber. Tonight, the brother of Danny Elrond has serious questions about why an officer fired his gun. Reporter Kelly Bartnick is live tonight with this story. Kelly? Jenny, James Floyd, does uh, he doesn't deny his brother's criminal past, but he does believe that there is more to this story. And tonight, he is criticizing Omaha police who fired at his brother who was not armed. 39-year-old Daniel Elrod's life ended here near 13th and Center Monday night. Police say he robbed this family dollar store and ran. Then he didn't listen to their demands to stop and surrender. There was a scuffle and then gunshots. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to buy my brother. My brother has a sordid past of uh, doing wrong, and but he served his time for all the things he's done wrong. And it seems like they're trying to portray him in a light that, that like, he's a menace, but he's not a menace. On the phone from Youngstown, Ohio, Elrod's younger brother, James Floyd, is criticizing what the officers did. According to a police report, Officer Nicole Geza used a taser on him. When that did not work, Officer Alvin Lugod fired his gun several times. It was only after the shooting we learned Elrod did not have a weapon. And if he didn't have no weapon, I can't understand why they had to use deadly force. Why couldn't they shoot him in the leg? Or why couldn't three or four of them bum rush him and take him down? Family believe Elrod's limited mobility from an injury is the reason he didn't get on the ground that night. Floyd doesn't believe police accounts or that his brother took part in the armed robbery. And it seems like they're trying to make it seem like because of what he's done in his past, that they're making, trying to make it seem like he deserved to get gunned down like some rabid dog in the street. And I don't feel that's right. Meanwhile, the night before Police Chief Todd Schmatterer's address, the investigation continues. Douglas County Attorney Don Klein will join Chief Schmatterer in talking about that incident. That is at 11 o'clock right here at the Douglas County Courthouse at Don Klein's office. We will keep you updated on air and on KMTV.com. Reporting live downtown tonight, Kelly Bartnick, KMTV Action 3 News.